Hey guys, let's just start off this look. I'm just going to put on a little bit of my pore minimizer on my cheeks, chin, nose, and forehead. And then I'm just going to rub that in. Once that is done, I'm going to put on my Ready, Set, Gorgeous foundation by CoverGirl. And I'm just going to put a decent amount of that onto my hand and rub it into my face. Next, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline um, concealer and I'm going to put that underneath my eyes and on any blemishes to make sure I cover up any imperfections on that face of mine. And once that is done, I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Sun Bunny Bronzer and I'm just going to put that in the hollows of my cheeks and also up towards my forehead and down to my jawline as well. You're going to want to make sure you blend that in nicely so you don't have any straight streaks along your face. And when you're done that, you're going to want to take some of your blush and put that on your cheeks. Now after that, I take some of my High Beam by Benefit and I'm going to put a couple dots along the, my cheekbone and then I'm going to blend that in as well. Once I am finished that, I'm going to be taking my Stay Don't Stray um, makeup primer and you want to make sure you put that on because you don't want any of that makeup smudging off your eyes over the night. Then I'm going to be taking a darker brown eyeshadow and this is supposed to be an eyeshadow that's a couple shades lighter than dark eyebrows and a couple shades darker for um, light colored eyebrows and I'm just going to fill in any empty spots I have in my eyebrows and you can see what a big difference it actually does to my eyes. Once I'm done that, I'm going to take a light champagne color and I'm going to put it in my tear ducts and kind of just lightly swipe it across my eyes. Then I'm going to take a darker color and put it um, along the rest of my lids. And then I'm going to take a more bronzy color and put that just kind of on the edge of my lid, kind of going up into the crease a little bit. Then I'm going to take a color that's a bit darker than that, still brown, and I'm going to put that in my crease, just gently. Once I'm done doing that, I'm actually going to take a blending brush and blend that into my eyes just to make sure that there are no um, big creases. Then you're going to want to take a color that is actually quite a bit darker than that and just kind of define that crease a little more. And then you're going to blend that again. Then, last step for your eyes, you're going to take the darkest brown you have, and it, yes, it is a little scary, but don't worry, it'll be fine, and you're just going to make a little triangle in the corner of your eyes. Make sure you don't pull this through your entire uh, crease, or else it's going to look very dark. And of course, you're going to want to blend that out as well. Then you're done with a nice darker smoky brown look which I absolutely love. Now it's time for eyeliner. I'm going to take my gel liner and make a wing on my eye. Then I take a pencil liner and I line my um, waterline above and below. After that, you can take your favorite mascara and run it along your lashes, and I usually do two coats. Then 
Then I take my favorite Rimmel lipstick, it is a light pink color, and I'm going to just put some of that on my lips. And there we have it, that is the finished makeup look. Now time for the outfit. I got my shoes from Spring and I absolutely love them. I got a pair of earrings from Forever 21 and my necklace from J. Crew. My dress is from Marciano and I absolutely love the cutouts in the front. And my purse, I'm actually borrowing one of my mom's vintage ones. And there you have it, there's the final outfit. I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time.